If you break it, you own it. These words were echoed by former Secretary of State Colin Powell regarding the US-led invasion of Iraq. And not only did we break it, but we are apparently trying to buy it because we are still paying for the nearly $2 trillion price tag that came with the invasion. Yet, when it comes to Iraq, whom do we frequently think of? Typically, we visualize and often blame President George W. Bush. And while he was largely responsible for executing the invasion, it seems we often forget how our Congress was instrumental in passing one of the most expansive military authorizations in recent American history. In fact, scholarly research concerning the Iraq invasion has frequently centered on either the president or the administration. The way our Congress publicly communicated their arguments, however, has seldom been studied. Now, in order to address this deficit in research, my thesis is rhetorically analyzing the senatorial debates on the 2002 Iraq resolution. The Senate in particular merits criticism because they are often described as the world's greatest deliberative body and hold a significant role in matters of foreign affairs. The objects of my study include the official speeches, statements, and responses made by senators who debated the Iraq resolution, as well as being selected from the congressional record. Now, a preliminary analysis of my research suggests that anti-war senators were often presented as being anti-patriotic. These same senators were also depicted as being against the troops, while other arguments deplored and heavily criticized any questioning of the president during times of war or crisis, as well as stressing the claim that America had a moral duty to protect other nations. The importance of this research is to better understand how debate in the US Congress was rhetorically stifled out of fear of undermining the president and a popularized cause. If we are to avoid the same reckless mistakes of the past, especially in light of recent troubling foreign events like the Syrian civil war or Russia's aggression in Ukraine, then greater public awareness needs to be made on how our senators debated on our behalf and ultimately sent our soldiers abroad. And while President Barack Obama officially declared the war over in 2011, the nearly 5,000 American soldiers who sacrificed their lives for this invasion demands that this academic conversation persist. Thank you.